Subnet and load balancers in Oracle Cloud can now be regional. What does being regional mean? What was the scope of subnet earlier? And how to create a regional subnet or load balancer? I'm going to cover all this in this episode. Welcome to this weekly video on Oracle Cloud with me Atul Kumar from Team Ketony Academy where we learn tips, tricks and what's latest on Oracle Cloud. So today's video covers latest change introduced last week, that's 19th of February 2019, where subnet can now be regional too. But first, let's understand what is subnet. So subnet is a bigger network divided into a smaller part. As you see in a diagram here, we have a bigger network that is represented by this outer dotted line in Oracle Gen2 Cloud. We call it virtual cloud network or VCN. And this VCN has a CIDR 10.0.0.4/16, so that's CIDR 16. Now this bigger network is divided into two different smaller subnets, which are of subnet A represented by 10.0.1.0 CIDR 24 and 10.0.2.0 CIDR 24. So subnet is nothing but a bigger network broken down into smaller network. Now, if you're new to networking in OCI and would like to understand networking basics, then I did a video in past covering VCN, subnet, security list, internet and routing gateway. So check them out at ketoninacademy.com forward slash 1009315. And for load balances, they are on ketoninacademy.com forward slash 1009316. Now let's look at what is the scope of subnet earlier and what's being added now. So this is a diagram I covered a few minutes ago. So if you notice here, this subnet is created within availability domain. So subnet A is in within availability domain one, subnet B is within availability domain two, which means earlier the subnet was scoped within availability domain. That means the subnet can reside within availability domain. It can't go across availability domain. Whereas now since 19th of February, 2019, the subnet can also be a regional. So if you notice here, you have, I have subnet one, subnet two and subnet three. These three subnets are availability domain subnet or specific to availability domain with subnet four is regional, which means if you create any machine, or load balancers and assign them into a regional subnet, those machines or load balancers can be created within any availability domain within that region. Let me repeat one more time, it's important to understand. If you create a subnet as a regional subnet, and we'll see that in a minute, how to create that regional subnet by connecting to OCI console. So if you create a subnet which is a regional, then you select that subnet during machine creation or compute instance creation, then that compute can be created in any one availability domain of your choice. You are not restricted to that particular specific availability domain. And this is a big flexibility that you now have because of regional subnet. So now let's look at how to create these regional subnets or load balancer in OCI console. If you notice, I'm on an OCI console, you on the left hand side, click on this hamburger menu, go to networking and first go to virtual cloud network. You either create a new virtual cloud network. If you don't have, I already have this virtual cloud network. So I'm going to pick this and in this VCN, I'm going to create subnet. So subnet you always create within a virtual cloud network. Now here you click on button create subnet that is regional subnet public 01, you can pick any name of your choice. And this is where you specify whether you want a regional subnet or you want availability domain specific. It's always recommended to pick now regional subnet. This is where you specify the CIDR. So I've selected 10.0.8.0.24 within that bigger subnet. Now this is where you specify whether you want public or private subnet. This public and private I've already covered in one of the previous videos that I mentioned earlier. So you can get more information there and you simply say create. So this is how we created a subnet. Now any resources that you create 
within that subnet like you creating a database or creating a compute that compute can be created in any one of the availability domain of your choice because compute and databases are still availability domain specific so in my case the dns label is already there so i'll say specify some name for the dns level and click create and you will see that here now i've created a regional subnet this is a regional public subnet one and if you see look at this subnet type you will see new thing subnet type it's a regional this is how you know that it's a regional subnet now similarly if you have to create a regional load balancer you go back to this networking again click on load balancers and when you click on create load balancer you specify the name of the load balancer you select the shape you specify the visibility type and then you select virtual cloud network in which you want to create this subnet and now if you notice here to create a public load balancer you can specify a single regional subnet so earlier if you remember for public subnet you had a requirement to have two subnets in different availability domain now if you are selecting a regional subnet all you need to do is you pick one regional sub subnet if you are picking availability domain specific subnet then you still need two and that's the advantage now because of this regional subnet and like that you have much more flexibility you have less number of subnets to create and you have less things to manage so i'm going to specify if you see here i'm going to select a regional subnet public one which i created here and now i don't need to create or select any more subnets and you provide all the other details for load balancer and you will get a regional load balancer that will require only one regional subnet so now it's your turn to try this feature in your cloud account if you don't yet have a oracle cloud account you can get a free trial account simply go to url atonicacademy.com forward slash cloud 01 download our step-by-step -step activity guide and create a free trial account on oracle cloud using this step-by-step -step activity guide so did this video help you and are you going to test by creating a regional subnet in your OCA account? Let me know in your comments below and I can't wait to chat with you there after the video. If you like this video, hit like button below, share it with your colleagues and be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next week.